Good morning, good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I am the Love Ambassador. This morning, I was in my prayer time with Papa God and reading his word, and I'm actually on the book of Acts. I've been reading the New Testament since January, and we're in October, what, 23rd? And I'm actually in Acts 13. Um, so it's pretty good because I'm eating his word little by little, chewing it up little by little. And today he gave me a message, revelation that I want to share with you guys all. Um, what the Holy Spirit wants me to share with you guys today. Um, it's about how do we become giant slayers? Hmm. I want to become, well, actually I am a giant slayer. And the answer is actually here in, in Acts 13, 21 to 23. Let me read it to you guys. It says like this. The people craved for a king, so God gave them one from the tribe of Benjamin, Saul, the son of Kish, who ruled for 40 years. After re removing him, God raised up David to be king, for God said of him, I have found in David, son of Jesse, a man who always pursues my heart and will accomplish all that I have destined him to do. From David's lineage, God brought Israel a savior, just as he promised, which we know is, is Jesus. So God, I mean, so, so guys, um, David. David was a nobody. David was a shepherd boy. Um, that his family and his friends made fun of him, didn't like him, they bullied him. He was small compared to his brothers that were tall and handsome and strong. And David was small in physical, um, in the physical, right? But David, um, one thing that David has, what well, David was, was very humble. David in, um, David served. David served his brothers. David served his father. David served the Lord without complaining in being humble um, day after day after day. To be a, to become a king, to become a leader, to become anything in God's kingdom, in God's kingdom, we first must be servants, humble servants. Okay, so that was number one. Number two, David lived a life of worship and gratitude all day. We know that David, David wrote almost all of the Psalms because David was in worship, was in communication, was all the time in pursuit of God's heart. And all the time he was in worship. And that's why he was able to write most of the Psalms, right? Um, number three, David was very bold and open about what he believed in his faith. And he expressed it in the physical. So we all know when David danced almost naked just with his underwear in front of all Israel, in front of his wife, the queen. And the queen was looking at him like he was like, Ugh, how dare you do that? You're the king. And David did not care. David just danced and worshiped the Lord like if no one was watching that is someone who is after God's heart. So David was very bold and courageous in front of anybody. Guys, how many times have we gone to a concert, gone to a football game, to a soccer game, to a basketball game, to an event, and we cheer on the people, Whoa! we dance and we sing and, and it's okay right everybody's doing it it's okay it's fine but when we worship the lord in public ooh, we, we look like freaks we look like we're we're, we're different we're, 
course we're different because we're worshiping who truly and what really matters, which is the Lord, God. Guys, the Lord. Um, so David had that. In conclusion, David had a passion towards pleasing God. David had a heart towards God despite his imperfections because we know David was not perfect. Um, David committed a lot of, lot of not good things. However, his heart was always right. And that, my friend, is what Papa God sees. Our hearts, not our works, not what we're trying to do, not what people see, but what we do in the secret when no one is watching and when they are watching, what are we doing? So that's how he became a giant slayer. I'm a giant slayer. And that's how we become fearless. I am fearless. That's how we have favor among men. That's how we have grace and boldness and we become courageous and compassionate. And we have wisdom. We basically start living a life of adventure when we pursue God's heart. So that's the message for you guys today. Let's be giant slayers. I'm a giant slayer. Hey guys. And I um, am here to say I worship you, Lord. I love you, Lord, in secret and public. You're the only one to be praised. So thank you, Lord. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Guys, have a blessed day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and follow. Have a blessed day, guys. Bye.